that's why if you listen closely, not every body that's telling a story has a message, but a lot of us have a message with our stories about that that's not the life to live. We're telling these stories so that you don't go through what we've been through in life. So I'm going to continue to do me with that being said. And if we all worry about ourselves, we'll be living in a better place. But anyway, am I the only one that was taking showers with other prisoners? Or listen, not everywhere that you go, you can take showers by yourself in every prison. Or in every jail. That's just the fact. You can go. And listen. A lot of prison stories have been told. And when dudes talk about they went in the shower. Or they on a shower line. Or what have you bro. Or they went to the shower. It's different showers. When you was in the box. When you was in population. However. But. When I'm telling that story. My guy. <laughs> I'm in C95. The showers, they don't call on the showers. You know what I mean? They might let you out the cell and certain houses might be like showers is open or whatever just to let it be known. Or somebody in the house will scream out like, yo, uh, showers is open, bro. Ain't no sharks in the shower just so dudes could shower. And just a reminder real brief because you know how dirty some so-called gangsters could get, right? So... I say all that to say that very rare on certain occasions I hog the shower up. Nothing to brag about, sound tough. Everybody knows when it was uh, militant style. I'm moving silence, not attracting attention at all. Right there, trying to pay them lawyer fees so they can get me off. I'm like a nut to the D's that they trying to get off. So I'ma move how I'm supposed to, but you try and snatch my line and on my mama, I'ma smoke her. Some straps on my lap while I drive. Fuck a holster. I'm live in the wreck in the flesh, nigga. I'm a soldier. Honey gang. So get it through your head, nigga. Why take a L when I can always take your bread, nigga? Up that, baby, up that. I could throw your name up on that wall. Come that following week, goes your brain up on that floor. How you mad at me? This is your fault. Don't be mad at me, that was your call. Who did that? Play by our rules when you break the law. And respect the G code, nigga, never talk. The movement, boom, dude stood by the shower and when somebody was going in, dude be like, nah, somebody's in there. That was in the beginning of times. There was a period that it was like that. After a while, bro, you showering, Joe Smitty that just came in the house, he jumping right in there, right next to you. Now, if he going to start free balling, I'm going to be like, yo, 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 my man, my man. <laughs> You can't do that right now, you heard? And he's going to look at you like, hmm? because he probably just got there. He's never been incarcerated, what have you. And then you got to explain to him that, Pompey, we don't pull those down right here or crazy like that, you heard? You wash right through that. You know what I mean? Like you stick your hand in there, boom, 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 boom. And you do what you do, but you don't peel off, boop, like a motherfucking fruit over here. We don't do that. So, with that being said, you know, just because, just to clarify things, bro, there's some people go to the extreme because it could get kind of annoying sometimes when it's the same comment uh, and it's like, but yo, a hundred times, bro, like it's becoming spam now. Like, bro, you're bugging out, my dude. And when we say my mans, it's different slang everywhere, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to talk the way I want to talk when I'm doing a show. And, and I'm just explaining it because I can't because I got a set of lips. And this is what I felt like doing. I felt like coming on and saying how I was feeling, how my week was, what happened, how I was in the hospital, how terrified I was of that situation, right? And maybe it can help somebody out and maybe it can't. And for whatever it means to anybody, what up? You already know what this is. It's on a lockout. We got a lot of new things coming, right? Uh, this week. Um, I was at the hospital, bro. It was like the scariest 
moment of my life this week. For whatever reason, I'm outside in the town. Things happen, right? It pops off. Boom. Uh, at this point, police get involved. You know what I mean? Thank God there was no helicopter situation like the Sunset Park story, which, by the way, I deleted by mistake and I try to put it back up. And if you don't see it there right now, it's because you already know who was crying about it. It was duplicate content. You got to get the old video pulled back. Some story like that. So to avoid any conflict or any strikes, I just took it down. I'll say the story again. I'm never going to forget it. Well, then again, I I just had remembered it when I said it. But, you know, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's fresh in my head. Like, wow, the video, man. I like the way it came out. I like to record right then and there and put it up. I don't like to hold on to content. Like, I don't record today and hold the content for two weeks and then put it up. As I record right then and there, I upload that. Like if it was live damn near, like I just did it seconds ago and then you guys see it as soon as it uploads. But anyway, boom, bottom line is I took it off to avoid any strikes on my channel, right? Because who wants that from the tube? <laughs> Woo! So now, on the lockout, we got the membership coming up. I'm waiting, you know, because I want to make a video to introduce the membership. It's there. I could just press the button. Boom, it goes up, whoever wants to be membership. But I don't want to give you the okie doke like everybody else. Sign up for membership, there's no new content. Now, when I press that button and the membership goes on, it's lit. Boom, what's popping my people? You already know what this is, is on the... Hmm, hmm, jig it, jig it. Six minutes. <laughs> you already know, right? Shout out Dougie, right? So... With that being said, man, you know, I took the content down, but I was in the hospital, right? That's where I was at, I think. Well, anyway, let's go there. I was at the hospital because a situation occurred where police had came up to us, boom, in the street. I'm with somebody. Yes, we know the social distancing and all that. But just on the way to the store in the hood, things happen, right? I'm not in Brooklyn this day. I'm in Southside, Jamaica. Facts. So I'm in Southside, Jamaica. You know, I'm 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 boom, boom, I'm moving. Bang, bang. You know, I, I don't forget what I did in the street. And you could change all you want to change. Other people remain the same in life. Always remember that. I'm always gonna say that because of facts. So I try to stay aware to be to be aware to be alive, right? Which by the way, I noticed today, I think they took the Sean Bell. Uh, the uh, memorial they had on, on the war I I'm, I'm hope I'm saying it right You know, his his drawing With, with uh, tribute to him You know, with Sean Bell That they, they got uh, They passed away due to the Police situation over here By the club Everybody that's from Southside knows And you guys heard it in the, And I put it on one of my videos Where it says I'm woke on my neck Um and it's sad because I walked up the block now and I didn't see it. And I'm like, what? And it seems like they knocked it down to build something there. And I, I, I didn't pay that no mind the other day if I went through there. But I passed by there today in a helicopter. Nah, I, 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 walked, I passed by in a car, actually. Not a helicopter. I, I just lied. I, not lied, joking. But anyway, and it's not there. And it touched me for... I was like, wow, bro. You know, so whatever. I'm glad that I was able to um, take a picture of that, man. So, and it's in my video. In one of the videos down there. I think it's even the thumbnail to the video. Sean Bell. Rest in peace, Sean Bell. So, uh, a lot of things going on So with the police, right? So, for some apparent reason, they think that my man is wilding. You know what I mean? That he's not being himself. I thought he was perfectly fine. He was rapping kind of loud. But so were we all. Look, there was a little freestyle battle with a little distancing going off. You know, going on. Boom, I got my mask on. I'm going in. 
take the grip real tight, you know what I mean? Come through the block like boom, boom, you know what I mean? Whatever, right? <laughs> I'm just bugging out. I'm just making like references to like how we rap and things that go on, right? So <laughs> they come right up to me. Boom, yo, you. I said, bro, don't touch me, bro. So, you know, my guards is up immediately because here we go, this dude. You know, and I don't recommend this to nobody. It's, violence is always the last result to situations, right? But he grabs me by my neck, and that's when everything broke loose. To put a long story short, no, let's make it long so I can, <laughs> so anyway, of course, he wants to take me to the hospital now because I'm, you know, I'm hurt. I'm saying, yo, you hurt me, bro. <laughs> I'm suing you. You don't know who I am. I'm the dude from on the lockout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Like, who cares, right? So, um. Uh, you know, everybody on the block is screaming out, yo, you recorded that? You know, at this point, I'm not worried about that. I'm not the type of dude that go around with my phone on record. I don't do that outside. If I did, I don't because I know how serious it could be. Like, I always say, sometimes police, feds don't know about people and they come to know about people when they come on an interview on a video. Like, right, you just made them aware. So I'm aware of that. So I don't do that, right? So they take me in the ambulance for whatever reason. He's like, bro, y'all going to the hospital. You know what I'm saying? So he tried to put it like if, I don't know, like I guess like we was drunk, intoxicated or whatever. And that's like far from the truth, right? So we all know that they're trying to cover their behind. So bottom line is, I, w I don't drink, number one. So I wind up at the hospital. Right? With semi other people. At this point, not semi, with other people. Why did I say semi? I don't know. But anyway, with other people, right? We not deleting, edit, we don't do that. It's I don't do that. <laughs> so anyway, um It's raw and uncut on the lockout. <laughs> so anyway, check it out, right? Bro, when I get to the hospital, all I know, I'm like, no, bro. I see people with masks coming up to me. Like, it's like something out of a movie. In my head, I just kept saying, I gotta get out of here. Like, you hear all the things, like, if you didn't have it, once you go there, now you're gonna get it. Because so many people have it there. It was, like, torture, bro. I looked at the lady... And I'm going to keep it a hundred because y'all know I keep it real. One thing about Warpath from on the lockout, I told you I don't ever lie. There's no need. It becomes a job. And I don't like to work. Facts. So. <laughs> so. I told him, miss, I can't be here. I need to get out of here. Like I need to get home to people, to regular life. Like, I can't be here. And she was like, we're trying to find out what happened. And at this point, the cop is in front of me, and I'm, like, beefing him, right? And uh, he's trying to tell her the story or whatever. And I'm like, the reason he bring us in is because they bruised us up. So they want to make sure that I, because I was screaming that my head was hurting after he punched me in my head, bro. You know, it was like a whole big police brutality type situation, which, you know, I'm not the one to cry too much about things because, you know, we played our role in it too, but sometimes, like, the excessive force is, was unnecessary, right? But when it happens to you, <laughs> it's like, wow, right? And I'm, I'm, I've always been against things like this, and I've always spoken up about it on lives and everything, and I'm on videos also when it comes to things like that. Like, I'm always for the peoples, for all peoples. You already know, love all people. So, uh, I just remember telling her, like, and why you're here. Y'all, you guys shouldn't be here either. Why are you working for these people? And then... 
I remember her waking me up and say, yo, you going home. And I remember me telling her, I can't stay here long. You got to do your best to get me out of here. And she was like, you're going to be here a few days because they just don't let people go like that anymore. And I'm like, wow, I'm going to die. Rest in peace to my guy, Meg. With all respects, I thought about Meg. I thought the la the, the, I mean, the first person that I text from the hospital was Mez, which is my people's that is on Meg's video from uh, Oh Now, right? That we was going, um, going back and forth about the name of the song, Ten Toes. A lot of people call it Ten Toes Down. But he was saying about why Meg named it Oh Now because it was like uh, Ho Now, whatever, and based on his daughters. And I don't mean whatever in a disrespectful way. Just the way I talk. Um... And we was talking about, like, how the name came about, right? So, that dude, he's the second dude on the second, uh, he comes on rapping second, right? Meg's first, then him. So, um, the dude from Five Borough Bullies, the dog, that he breeds the dog. So, Brooklyn, baby. Brooklyn, baby. This should take, what, 45 seconds? So Brooklyn, when I leave it, can't wait to be back A part of me, low-key, just wanna run the jack Dispatching runners, gotta move it forth and back Back and forth, side streets only, trying to avoid the ass Trying to avoid them D's, trying to avoid them cold cells On the island calling out to me Cause I know what it is and where I'd rather be So moving sloppy, just an option that is not for me So if my window's down, then my music off I move in silence, not attracting attention at all I'm trying to pay them lawyer fees so they can get me off I'm like a nut to the D's that they trying to get off So I'ma move how I'm supposed to But you try and snatch my line and on my mama I'ma smoke you Straps on my lap while I drive, fuck a holster I'm live in the wreck in the flesh, nigga I'm a soldier, honey gang so get it through your head, nigga Why take a L when I can always take your bread, nigga up there, baby, up there. I could throw your name up on that wall Come that following week Goes your brain up on that floor How you mad at me? This is your fault Don't be mad at me, that was your call Who did that? Play by our rules when you break the law And respect the G-code, nigga, never talk He got all the dogs Check out his Instagram Five underscore burrow underscore bullies Dang So I hit him and I put Bro I'm in the hospital Something like that I text him I haven't even looked at it again And I, I text him like Yo it's crazy right now I'm in the hospital bro And um I think that he said Bro you gonna be alright bro Something like Uh Something about Meg, but it wasn't, of course, never disrespectful. It was, I think it was like, yo, look, just think about Meg. He passed through. I think he, he was trying to be like a relief to me, but it got more stressful when he said whatever he said. That's all I remember because it was like, what? Yeah. It just reminded me that I may not be leaving here, you know? So I left, right? I'm here. And they hit me up back. Like, yo, you should come back to the hospital. And at this point, I'm like, bro, you, hmm? I'm Scooby-Doo and all over the place now. That Scooby-Doo shit came back real quick. Boop. Scooby-Doo, doobity-doo. Hmm? Did you just say go back? Nah. You playing, right? Go back to the hospital. Nah. You bugging? That's like going back to prison. That, you know, I'm bugging out now. I'm like, here we go, prison story, right? So, all I'm thinking about is my show on the lockout. To be real, because you may think that a lot of YouTubers don't care about what goes on, but we do. So, or dudes that make videos, whatever you want to call it, right? People got a million names for influencers. Content creators, I'm more good with whatever, right? But anyway, it boils down to 
that when they call, they like something about my um lung count or whatever, right? So I'm like, bro, I smoke like a Russian. And they're like, nah, this is not like probably normal. I'm like, it's because I smoke a lot. But then I realized that they messed up. That when people go there and I had like a little fever, they figured because I was so agitated and mad and sweaty because I was struggling with popo, that they figured like I had a little slight fever and they were supposed to test us for cold. You know what I mean? For the thing. <laughs> so, listen, I ain't go back. Number one, there was a suggestion. It wasn't a you have to or whatever. I'm good. I don't feel sick. I don't feel nothing. You know, and I'm just saying to myself, a lot of people feel bad and don't go to the hospital, but I don't feel bad. And I just say all that because I know people that say, bro, I wouldn't go back even if I felt bad. I'll try to see what I do at home. And I mean, I don't suggest that, but I don't know what I would do if I was to have felt bad. I know I ain't going back right now. <laughs> Leave in the comments how you feel about all that, man. You think I should have done but I feel good. You know what I'm saying? It was just at that moment they figured that I should have went because, uh, I don't know, they said my lungs. But I smoke over a pack of cigarettes a day, which be since I came out the hospital and now I only smoked five cigarettes. And I would have smoked a pack already. So let me know how you feel. I just want to stop by and let you guys know I'm Back out the hospital. I'm good. So we're going to be dropping content. Um, hopefully by the weekend. Saturday will be new videos up there. I'll be live again like regular. And the membership will be up. And hopefully you guys support. Follow the Instagram on the lockout underscore. You already know. I love you guys. On the lockout. Thanks for the wait. Thanks for the support. You already know. Lockout gang. Nothing else. <laughs>